So what are beacons? They are tiny little devices that are placed in consumers' physical environments, which have the ability to emit low energy Bluetooth signals. This enables them to communicate with mobile devices for a variety of purposes, including data collection and ad serving. So what are beacons actually like? Here are a few pictures so you can get a visual. Beacons are very small, simple devices with a CPU, radio, and batteries. They often use small lithium chip batteries, which are smaller and more powerful than AA batteries, or they'll run via connected power such as USB. They come in a variety of different shapes and colors. They may include accelerometers, temperature sensors, or other unique add-ons, but all of them have one thing in common. They transmit a signal. There are currently over 500 million beacons deployed in the wild. So how do beacons work? A beacon sends out a signal typically a unique ID number, about 10 times every second, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on its settings. A nearby Bluetooth-enabled device, like your mobile phone, can pick up that signal. And when a dedicated app on the phone recognizes the signal, it links to an action. App developers can teach their app how to react to the beacon signal. The reaction can manifest itself immediately in the moment, think triggering a coupon or a pop-up, or it could be a passive action, collecting the user's location data at the time uh, for later use. What are some of the broader applications of Beacon technology? So first, improved user experience. Imagine going to a museum, pulling up an app for that museum, and as you're making your way through, the app is able to augment your experience through audio, visuals, video content, and information based on where you are in the museum. Data analysis, think like a big retailer designing a store. Over time, you want to understand the flow of people through the store, which areas create congestion, which sections attract the most shoppers so you can better optimize the layout. And then advertising, which could take a variety of different forms, awareness, loyalty, couponing, measurement. Think of the push notification you may get informing you of a sales event while passing by a Macy's. Or the coupon you may see pop up on your phone while at CVS, given that you're an extra care member. Consider the implications of tying back McDonald's digital advertising to foot traffic at various McDonald's locations. The possibilities here are really endless. And there you have it, vegan technology. Good luck.